Hey folks, this is Steve again with Nonprofit Ally, and we are going to be heading right into lesson three of the How to Build Your Nonprofit Website in One Day course. So this is a free course, folks, uh, so there's, there's no charge for you. You should have already gotten your hosting and your domain name that was back in lesson one, and we should be on our way you sh uh, to installing our theme, which is what we're going to do today. So installing your theme is a pretty straightforward process. If you want to know what your site's going to look like ahead of time, just visit the nonprofitwebsite.com. That is uh, the theme that we'll be using. I went ahead and then made um, some dummy content there. So it has uh, some photos I made as well as or some photos that I, that I took from the internet and some dummy content. You'll see some Latin in there and things like that. But that's what your site's going to look like. So have a peek at that, the nonprofitwebsite.com. And let's get underway. Let's get that theme installed and start customizing those settings. Okay, here we are back again at our WordPress login page. So we've already adjusted our WordPress settings and we are now going to go ahead and install a theme for WordPress. And it's a, it's a pretty simple process. This will be a, a somewhat quick lesson. So let's go ahead and log into our back end if you're not already there. And you might be wondering, okay, so great, this is the back end of the site. It's kind of the, the, the nuts and bolts, the mechanics of the site. What's the front end look like, the, the end that the user is going to see when they visit your website? That's a pretty easy thing to see. If you go up here to the left-hand side of your screen, you're going to see that there is a drop-down here. And as you scroll over the name of your site, it says Visit Site. I'm just going to right-click on that. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And then I'll actually go over there. And so that is what the site looks like right now. It's a very generic. It's got one posting on there that's part of a, when WordPress was installed. So it's a very basic, uh, generic, bland-looking site. But we can theme these, or as some people call templates. So we're, we're going to put a theme on this and change the way our website looks. So I'm going to go back to my dashboard. And on the left-hand side here, um, in your navigation, you're going to look for appearance. And under appearance, you're going to find the, word, uh, the link for themes. Go ahead and click on themes. And you'll see that WordPress is installed with a couple themes. And they're actually um, named after the year. So there's 2015, 2014. That's, they give you two or three themes automatically. And if you wanted to change the theme, the way your site looks on the front end, you simply scroll over one of these thumbs of the themes you have and activate it. And there's a little button here for activate. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to activate the 2014 theme. And you'll see right away, um, they switch sides. The top left one is always the active theme. Now my 2015 one is no longer active. And if I go to the front end web page, I'll just click on this tab and I will refresh my page. You'll see that theme has already taken effect. And now my site looks like this. Still no content on there and it's kind of bland and but that's the way it works. And let's do that one more time. I'm going to go back to my Manage Themes. I'll show you what it looks like if we change to the 2013 template or theme. We'll hit Activate. And it's active. It's in the top left here, so that's great. We are going to go and uh, to the front end. I'm going to refresh my page again. And you'll see I now have the 2013 theme on my site. Well, great. So what we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to actually install another theme, a new theme. And it's going to be the theme that we use to build our website with. And so that's a pretty easy process in itself also. So we're going to go up here on this page. You'll see up here at the top it says Add New. We're going to go ahead and click on that. And you have to realize that there are thousands and thousands of themes for WordPress. And there's a lot to pick from. And so you have um, up here, this is basically connecting to a, uh, a repository, a database of themes uh, at the WordPress.org website. And you can look for the featured ones, the proper ones, the latest ones. But we are actually going to go over here to the search bar on the right-hand side here. And we're going to type in Zerif, Z-E-R-I-F. And that's going to pull up the Zerif light theme. And if you scroll over that, you're going to see that there is an install button. In this case, it's a blue button here. And go ahead and click that. This is the theme we're going to use to build our site on. So I'm going to install this theme. Once it's installed, 
we actually have to activate it, right? Because now we have multiple themes to choose from. This is the one we want to use. So the middle uh, link here is to activate that. We're going to go ahead and activate the Xerif Light theme. And it returns us to our main theme page. And you can see right here, it is uh, the Xerif Light is the top left thumb. It is the active theme. Here are uh, the older themes that we're not using. There's a notice that comes with this installation, at least for my installation, it says up here. We recommend these plugins. Um, we're going to ignore this notice because those plugins aren't necessary for what we're doing. So we're just going to dismiss that and it'll go away. So we've activated the theme. And let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like on the front end. And so we'll go over to the front end of our website. I'm going to refresh this page. And we should see the new theme has been installed. Now, the one thing with this theme, which is pretty cool, is that it comes with kind of um, pre-filled content, right? There's already a background here. There's some words already installed here. It gives you an idea of what this site is going to look like. And um, it, it's a really good-looking site, and we are going to make, we are going to customize all this content for our nonprofit. And so all of these different things that are available here will be um, relative to the nonprofit that the, uh, we are building a website for. So that is the theme. And let me go back to the back end. It is installed right here. And that's it for this lesson, folks. We've gone ahead and we've uh, activated a couple themes and we've installed the one we are going to use. And we are, we are gonna, in the next lesson, we're gonna start customizing it. We're gonna get our content on there. We're gonna add some photos and we're gonna put our own mission statement, et cetera, et cetera, onto this theme. All right, folks, until then, um, hope you have a good one. We'll talk soon.